Hi guys, welcome back. This is Nancy. And today I wanted to talk about one thing that we can do for our children that's really going to benefit them in the long run. And this is one breakfast habit. In fact, this is a habit that we do for pretty much every meal. And this one habit is actually setting our children for failure in the long run. So what is this? Let's dive into it. And also I will explain the meaning behind it from an astrological perspective as well. So when I first came into this country, I was not used to like some of the things like when I say this country, I mean, when I moved into America, a lot of things were new to me. So one day I went to the restaurant and I saw a very young child sitting with uh, his mom and the mother asked the child, what would you like to eat? And the child was like, you know, he gave a very nice response, you know, exact choice, whatever you wanted to eat and drink. And I was extremely impressed. And it's like, this doesn't happen back in India. We were never given a choice on what to eat. And, you know, I was so impressed that the boy was able to speak up and, you know, actually give his choice. And I thought this is great. But here, this is exactly what's happening. And back in India now, this is a new trend that's happening. We we are all, all my friends, they ask their children about choices, like, you know, breakfast, what do you want to eat? And they give like, okay, you know, they give like 15 different options. Like, do you want to have a cereal? Do you want to have a sandwich? Do you want to have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Do you want to have a ham sandwich? Like, they'll give you like so many different options. And the child's like, no, no, not this, not today. Let's, let's get McDonald's. And, and this is one critical point that is actually setting up the child for, uh, for failure. And I'll explain to you why. Right? So when your child is given so many different options, he thinks, he or she thinks that this is how life is going to be. They're always going to get lots of options and they're going to get exactly what they choose. And that is not the case in real life, right? Like you as parents can give them their choice of breakfast today, their choice of dinner today. But tomorrow, uh, you know, when they're married or when they're at work, they're not going to get that option, right? They have to do what everyone's doing and what they're asked to do. Right? And that's when these people who haven't built their stamina up for hearing a no or, you know, not getting things their way, they snap very quickly. They get into depression very quickly as soon as they don't get something that they want. They, you know, they want to let go of things if things don't work out their way. They want to quit jobs as soon as someone says a bad word or, you know, someone screams at you or something. You want to quit that job right away. The stamina, the mental capacity to withhold and really stay on the course is just not there so i would give this one suggestion to all the parents out there do not give so many options to your children make one breakfast for the family and let everyone in the family enjoy that breakfast for one or two days they may crib and cry and all that stuff but eventually they will start having that one meal and appreciating it more over a period of time and then, you know, they will also kind of respect that, okay, my mom made this, my dad made this, this is what I'm going to have. And, you know, they will go out and say, hey, my parents make this kind of food. They'll respect that. But most importantly, it will teach them how to bend. And I want to bring this concept of bending into this uh, video because now I want to tie it back to astrology. What does bending mean? Bending mean uh, planet Saturn. So Saturn brings you down, it makes you bend. And those who learn to bend, those who can really go get their hands dirty, do the dirtiest job, you know, really get deep. In, like, you know, they don't care how they look, what they look like, you know, and they, if needed, they can just do anything and everything. That's what is rewarded by Saturn. So the person who can bend a tree, imagine a tree, that's fully loaded you know a loaded tree it's, it bends because it's heavy so only a loaded tree bears fruit right a tree which has fruits is the one that's bending so basically you have to bend to bear the fruits you have to be flexible so you don't snap you have to activate that flexibility that bending muscle every single day all the time every time so that when a big situation comes up big heavy burden on your back, you don't snap. Why? Because you've exercised that muscle to bend. 
you won't snap you will have the resilience to stand up and actually do what you have to do and face it but whereas the child who's been given all these different options whether it comes to tv tv time whether it comes to food whether it comes to sleep times whether whatever when they have the option or oh, do yes whatever works for you whatever works for you when you keep giving that option they are not flexible they're not bending they're still standing upright and when something hits them they are knocked right down because they don't have that flexibility you know like these uh, nice willow trees they get, they're so flexible whatever type of you know it's you get a heavy storm they don't break why because they're so flexible and this is one tip i want to give all the parents do not give your kids so much flexibility maintain a specific discipline because when they learn to bend and follow that routine that discipline they are building themselves up for a lifetime and saturn becomes so strong when you are doing following anything discipline like any kind of routine that is building up your saturn energy and saturn always rewards someone who bends and someone who does not bend Saturn brings so many different challenges that makes them bend at some point. If not this, it'll give something else. If, you know, if not financial trouble, it'll give you um, health issues. It just keeps giving you issues till you learn how to bend, till it brings you down to your knees. But to yourself, if you bring yourself down to your knees, you will be all good. So this is my tip for today. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.